Hello you lot, this is Keith Cooks, I'm Keith and today I'm going to do a speciality of the northeast of England, particularly Middlesbrough. I'm going to make chicken parmos. Before we start, shout out to my new Patreon fan, Sam Feekins. Thank you very much, I do appreciate it. And also a shout out to James Gocher, who recently made a comment, he says, have you ever made a chicken parmo? And uh, I said, why, I hinny, I have. Um, I, di I did it about five years ago. So um, I had a look at the video, it's a bit nasty. Now, five years ago, when I did the original Palmo video, they were uh, quite scarce outside of the Middlesbrough area. Um, but now they're less so. I've actually seen them in takeaways in Leeds and other places. So uh, I think the word is out that these are wonderful things and you should have them in your life. So here's how we make them. If you enjoy this video, give it a like, share, subscribe, etc. And let's get on with it. Parmo time. All right, Parmo, basically it's flattened chicken breast, coated in breadcrumbs, fried, then slathered with uh, cheesy bechamel sauce with extra cheese on top and grilled. Okay, that's the recipe. You don't need to watch the rest, <laughs> but you can if you want. So first of all, we make the bechamel sauce and ingredients for that, I've got half a litre of milk, I've got 150 grams of cheese, I'm using a mixture of red Leicester and extra mature cheddar. But you can use whatever you like as long as it's strong, cheesy and melty. I've got a knob of butter and the same amount of flour. Also completely optional, but I like my bechamel sauce to be quite savoury, so I like to infuse the milk with an onion and a bay leaf. And oops, <laughs> okay, I'll get that back. So we need to do that first because it takes about half an hour. All we need to do for the infusion is quarter the onion and keep the skin on if it's not too grotty. Pop that in the milk. And you just want to microwave that for about a minute until it's very slightly warm and that kicks off the infusion process. Or you can do it in a saucepan, uh, just very gentle warming for a bit. Don't let it get anywhere near boiling. So just leave that for about half an hour for the flavor of the onion and the bay leaf to infuse into the milk. Now chicken, I've got two chicken breasts, no bones, no skin. And I just want to kind of make them thinner. So I'm gonna butter fry them. So you can stick that in a plastic bag or I'm just going to wrap it in cling film. Well, not wrap it, just sandwich it. And then bash it till it's nice and flat. When you've done that, wash everything that's been in contact with the raw chicken cause food safety. Now I'm going to crumb the chicken so you need a production line of flour, breadcrumbs, any kind you like really and a beaten egg. Okay, so grab a chunk of chicken, put it in the flour, and then the egg. There's a theory that says you keep one hand dry and the other one wet, and um, one day I might manage to make that work. Today might not be that day. These are homemade breadcrumbs, so there's a bit of variation in the size. So now we've finished making the bechamel sauce. You want to melt the butter in a saucepan and then stir in the flour and keep stirring until you get a nice smooth paste. Then strain the milk into the pan and uh, do this in, a, in two or three stages. And keep mixing the milk in until that is nice and smooth. Then you can add about half the cheese and get that melted in and then, well, take it off the heat or if, if you're ready for it, just let it simmer just to keep it warm till you need it. Now we need to cook the actual parmos. So I've got a massive frying pan with some oil in it and put that on medium heat and then add the parmos and just let those cook for about four minutes each side. 
when they're nice and golden, take them out and put them on like a baking sheet, cover them with sauce and more cheese sprinkled on top. And then stick that under a grill, broiler, for well, about 10 minutes till they're nice and bubbly. So after all that, my sauce was uh, quite a bit runnier than I would have liked it, but never mind. It's not the end of the world and it's gonna be delicious. Oh yeah. So did I mention this, this is basically pub food, no offense, but you know, it's what you get when you've been out on the town and you're full of beer and you're hungry. Um, well, you know, you can have it any time really if you want, but normally served in a polystyrene clamshell thing with uh, a bit of bit of token salad, chips, and garlic sauce. And now it's taste test time with Mrs. Keith Cooks. Oh, oh come on, it's getting cold. <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys. <sighs> Palm oil. Oh yeah. How are you? It looks very nice. Oh, yeah. You don't want any? I should do. I think you should. Quick, before I eat it all. <laughs> There's another one. Mmm. Mm mmm. 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 Oh, yeah. That's nice and tender. I know I sound surprised. It's all right. <laughs> I've eaten so much dried chicken in my life, but. You usually manage to get it tender no matter what. Aye. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. So yeah. Mm-hmm. Fab. Nothing yeah. to say. Yeah. And also, it's my lunch break. I've only got half an hour and I want to sit and eat this. <laughs> so, love you and leave you. <laughs> Zoom. Alright, thanks for watching and see you next time.